Hey, what's up gamers? Today I'm going to be talking about uh, zooming on stages and how it works. I took a Ching's old uh, Fatal Fury 1 stage, or maybe it's Fatal Fury Special. I took that stage and I'm going to try to add some zoom to it so you can see what I'm doing. This is what it looks like right now. Round 1. Fight. Fight. It's kind of a short stage. Alright. I'm going to go to his death file. Start adding in everything we need to add. Which I'm going to take away the vertical follow and instead use a uh, tension high and tension low. I'm going to use a tension high of 90. I like that or 100. Either one of them, you know, work pretty good. And then negative 20 on the tension low. I don't really know why negative 20, but it always seems to work. I read it on the Electbytes forums a while ago, so that's why I use it. Uh, you no longer need floor tension because the tension high replaces it and re and replaces the vertical follow, but I just go ahead and leave this one um, complemented. It doesn't really mess with anything. All right, now I'm going to add in the, the zoom factors. I want to start zoom and equal 1. You don't really have to worry about this one too much. In fact, you can probably leave it out. But I'll just go ahead and add it. You got your zoom in. That'll also equal 1. The reason you want it to equal 1 and not something else, because uh, here I'll just give you a demonstration in a minute. Gonna finish this up. Okay, I'm gonna put this on zoom in equals two, so you can see what it looks like. Round one. Fight. So everything looks a little bit too zoomed in. You know that's that's not real good. So you want to keep the zoom in <clears throat> at 1 and that way when the camera zooms back in it won't go too close to them. Fight. See this is as close as the camera is allowed to zoom. Cool. So we're going to get rid of this excess over here. We're going to chop off 100. I don't know what it's going to be. Round 1. Fight. Might have been too much. Let's see what 80 looks like. Round one. Fight. That's pretty close. I'm going to uh, also decrease decrease uh, how much zoom because 0.75 seems a little bit too much for this small stage. I'm going to drop or put this up to uh, eight. See how that looks. Gonna go out just a little bit more. Fight. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Can still move the left and right bound a little bit more.
and I'm going to um, chop off or try to eliminate this area being exposed by using bound low. Start off at negative three. We'll see how all this looks. Fight. Mm, close. Maybe one more. Okay, I like the left and right. That looks good. Just fix the bottom. Now I'm just hitting shift and F4 to restart Fight. the stage. It loads the changes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I can either lower the bound high, but it's still uh, for the sky up here to see how it's uh, exposed in black area. But the zoom is intense that it's actually making the top of the stage. Like I can't fit it all in with it zooming. So what I'm, I can either add uh, more blue to the top on the sprite, which I'll probably end up doing. Or, like, I don't know if you can tell on the edges, but right here it's being exposed as well. And what you want to do in this situation is mess with the, the zoom scale actually on the animation itself or the sprite. And plus, I don't I don't know if you realize this, but the background should not scroll the same as the foreground where the characters are. Like when when I move backwards here, I'm so, I'm already so far away from these buildings back here that they really need to be scaled at a different than than the floor and where Kung Fu Man is. I also don't like this building the way it's scaling either. But I'm not sure they're separated. In fact, let me look at that real quick. Yeah, they're all one piece. So I don't. I might separate this and have its own zoom away from the floor. But I'll I'll deal with that in a minute. So what we're gonna do right now is just worry about the background here and how much it's zooming before I worry about if I'm going to add in more sprites and stuff. So I'm going to go down here to I'm guessing this is it, the background and I'm going to do a zoom delta and this will have this will make the background have its own zoom factor. I don't want it to hardly zoom at all so I'm just going to put 0.1 where one would one would actually equal the zoom we have now so I'm just gonna put on point one see how that looks okay as you can see the background is not zooming the same as the foreground which is what you really want it to do in the boat probably doesn't need to scroll that much either so let's change the boat. Actually, I'll put it above the ID. I I want since this is close to the ground, I want it to be pretty close to one. So I'm just going to use a point eight. See what that looks like. Round one. Fight. Oh yeah, much better. See the the boat. It it is still zooming because it's close to where Kung Fu Man is standing, but it's not zooming at the quite the same level. It's a little bit slower. So it it adds a little bit more 3D depth to everything. And again, like I said, this building it really should. 
I should go in and separate it. I'm not going to do it for this video, but I would probably put it on a zoom factor of 0.9 or maybe even eight to go along with the boat just to make it you know look a little bit more 3D a little bit cooler I would probably actually give the, this building too once I separate it, it a little bit different delta so it connected it would be moving with these poles here and even though the background is not zooming like it was. It, there's still a little bit of exposed black area up here. And again, like I said, I can I can just fix that with some code or I can go in and with a sprite and actually make it taller. But for the video, I'm just going to kill it with the code. I know we're close. Fight. Fight. Yep, perfect. And that's how you do it. That's how you work with Zoom. It really doesn't take that long. You just have to know that not everything zooms at the same pace that the plane you're standing on. So just a little bit of trial and error, and you can get everything um, zooming the way you want it to. And I think it looks pretty good. It, it adds some new life to these older stages that you've seen a thousand times.